mainframe connection established. Synchronizing control devices. Liv, you're beeping. Personal user interface synchronized. Well, that's helpful. All right, let's see what we can dig up. Here we are. Habitat A. Those icons. That must be us. I was right. We're the only ones here. Yes, well, this has all been terribly enlightening. Shall we move on? Okay, so there's no one else in the hab. But what about the rest of the station? This is everything. Affirmative. This image represents all of Chiron Station. Right, let's see who else is on board. Jack, you mind taking a look at the map while I keep searching on here? Of course. I've got some questions that need answering. This part of the facility appears to be under construction. You think there'd be someone around then? No reading. That's odd. Not showing any occupants in the research wing either. The station's generator is deserted as well. You see that readout? Running a little hot, wouldn't you say? Indeed. That would explain the power fluctuations we've been experiencing. Pretty good bet. Every branch of the station connects to this structure here, the transit hub. Still no signs of any crew, or anyone at all, really. We are not receiving any signal from the other habitat. That's not a good sign. If there was anyone left, the other habitat would be where I'd expect to find them. There's no one. The station's deserted. According to this, we're alone. Juno, what the hell? Where's the crew? Technically, I never said there was a crew on this station. So we're alone here? I didn't say that either. Oh, forget it. I'm not going round in circles with you again. There's got to be something else. Captain Rose. Juno, unless you're about to explain to me exactly what the hell's going on, I would keep quiet. Hang on. I think I might have hit upon something here. Looks like a priority message on a loop. Priority alert. Containment protocols breached. Multiple branch sectors compromised. General evacuation order has been issued. Oh dear. Evacuation order. Proceed immediately to your designated lifeboats. Message will repeat in one minute. All right, Juno. Start talking. Captain Rhodes, I assure you, there is no need for concern. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? What do you mean, uh-oh? I think we need to evacuate. What was that? That was an electrical malfunction. What sort of electrical malfunction? Not the kind we don't need to worry about. Right, Juno? That last energy spike overloaded one of our substations. The HAB's power grid is collapsing. How do we stop it? We can't. At least not from here. So we're just supposed to sit here and do nothing?
Juno. All right, listen carefully. I may only have a few moments before we lose contact. Jack, I'm unlocking your reactive cutter. There's an emergency release on the door leading out of here. You can use your cutter to gain access. You still have some time before the hab becomes unsafe. Make your way to the terminal. There should be a tram there that will take you to the... Juno? Juno, acknowledge. We've lost contact. You know, I always thought I'd enjoy this moment a bit more. Perhaps we should... Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Still a lot of questions that need answering, and sticking around here is not going to help us. Plus life support is failing. Uh, yeah, plus that. This must be the emergency release here. Behind this panel on the door. I'll take a look. I should be able to cut through the bolts that secure the panel. One, two, three, four. Try the release handle. Let's see if it'll open the door. Nice, that did it. Here, help me pull it open. You take that side. Jack, hold on. Before we go out there, Listen, that shell you're in now, that's the only one of you there is. If something happens to you out there, if you get shut down, that's it. You're gone. What about you? Without an EVA suit, you're considerably more vulnerable than I am. Sure. But I'm used to it. It's not really something you've ever had to think about before. You'll be fine. Just try and remember what I said, okay? All right, Liv. Well, here we go. At least emergency lighting still seems to be active. Still up in this area. I doubt that will last. We should keep moving. The sign above the door says to tram. That's where we're headed. Whoever built this plate. Initializing Skyrim. Initializing complete. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, that did just probably shave a couple of years off my lifespan, but... Let's hope not. What the hell was that? Most likely some form of security measure. Well, it must not work too well if we're tripping it on the way out. It doesn't appear to be working at all anymore. Doors sealed. We must have triggered some kind of lockdown procedure. Not seeing any sort of emergency release or access panel. You'd expect there'd be some sort of override or... Liv, up here, there's a control room. Let's see. If there's a way to get the door open, I expect that is where we'll find it. Yes, now we just have to find a way inside. But how? All the doors are locked. Yes, exactly. This... this... damn contraption. Containment protocol. Please proceed to the infirmary for further instructions. Good enough. 
Yeah, let's check it out. An infirmary, right next to security. Yeah, strange. You know, this place looks... familiar. Let's have a look around. This control panel appears to be sealed, though what it actually controls, I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. Well, only one quick way. Cut the panel off. Exactly. Well? I think I may have just gotten access to the maintenance ducts. Nice find. But the controls are faulty. The access way won't stay open long enough for me to get inside. Scoot over. Maybe I can hold it open for you. Didn't see much light up there, by the way. I assume my headlamp still works? Should do. Just press the switch on either side of your head. Headlamp checks out. Good to go. Right. I'll hold open the hatch. You head up into the ducts. Ready? Ready. There, it's open. Head on up. What do you see? Very little. I suspect these ducts have not been accessed in quite some time. See if you can find a path to the control room. I think we may be coming up on the control room. Stand by. There's some grating blocking access to the control room. I might be able to cut through. Do it. Not like anyone's gonna notice. Resembling door controls up there. Give me a moment to investigate. There's an emergency override switch embedded into the console here. It's not immediately clear how to access it. You'd think they'd want the emergency override to be easily accessible, in case of, you know, emergencies. There is a keypad here, but I don't know the access code. Do you think there could be any chance someone's gone and left it written down somewhere nearby? I would sincerely doubt it. Do people really do that? Happens a lot more often than you might think. That is grossly negligent. I wouldn't say grossly. You've done it before, haven't you? Look, we're burning oxygen here. Go on, let's see what else you can find. Recharging. You're thinking it might have the passcode? The unit's drive data might still be salvageable. Without your scanner, you'll need popcorn to extract the data. Popcorn, you can help him out there, yeah? Seems he might have hit upon something. I think he just passed an objective to my arm computer. A bit bossy, aren't you? Popcorn has passed me the security code. One, four, five, one. Override unlocked. That did it. Security's lifted. Come on out of there. I'll meet you in the next corridor. On our way. Come on, popcorn. Let's go. Great, well done in there. Yes, yes, you too. Well, there's actually a tram here. 
I was starting to worry. Captain Rhodes, can you hear me? Juno? Juno, your signal is very faint. The power grid is continuing to collapse. In order to depart, two problems need to be resolved. One, the tram is disengaged from the transit rail line. The second issue is that the exit airlock has been damaged. I'm uploading the schematics for the tram station to the captain's risk computer. Juno. Ah, delightful. She uploaded the tram schematics. Hmm. These look, um, a bit in-depth. Right, let's see. Moving tram from maintenance rail to transit rail. See rail cross index walkthrough, which is, ah, inaccessible without P clearance. Lovely. Or, popcorn can just point out the rail lines. Also works. Not entirely sure, but I believe that's popcorn speak for this is the maintenance rail. And this is obviously the transit rail. The one that actually goes somewhere. So we'll need to get the tram over to it. She also mentioned the tram airlock is no longer functional. Right. That's the other issue. Here, let's multitask. I'll take a look at the airlock while you tackle the tram. Divide and conquer. Wow. At least one of those. What's first? Well, these instructions are somewhat dense. It mentions aligning four stasis projectors alongside the tram. These must be them. Align stasis projectors. I'm on it. Right. Now, let's see how damaged this airlock actually is. Projector arm extended. Excellent. You just need to pump it a few times. So they're extended all the way. Acknowledged. Warning. Life support failure. Please proceed to the nearest evacuation point. Oh, bollocks. They've really locked up these controls. Can they be repaired? Definitely not. Well, maybe. I'll keep you posted. All projectors locked in place. Excellent. Okay, we still need to raise the projector arms. All projector arms raised. Easy peasy. It also mentions a release control panel that should be located below the tram. I'm on it. I found the tram release control. Great. Let's see what happens. Tram released. step is moving the tram itself over. It mentions a tram control console on the boarding platform. I will keep an eye out. Liv, this console has been damaged. Well, shit. Affirmative. Suggestions? Maybe see if there's a manual control that can be used instead. I found a sealed auxiliary panel. It's worth a look. Let's cut it open. I've located the control panel. Hmm. Give it a try. Just about wrapped up these airlock repairs. How are things looking on your end? I'm nearly finished here as well. The trams now aligned underneath the transit rail. Shall we? There's a control panel in the front. Mind doing the honors? Destination set. Please prepare for departure. Hold on to something, Jack. Departing for transit hub in three.
Arc cycle complete. For your safety, please hold on. Accelerating to transit speed in three, two, one. Far more expensive than even the hollow map implied. So, where is everyone? What could have happened here? It is difficult to determine the station's condition from this distance. Well, I'm not getting my hopes up. Wait. Something wrong. Do you see that? U up ahead in the cavern? It must be reacting to the energy flowing through the tram line. Wait. Are we? We're slowing down. The tram is on autopilot. Controls are locked until we reach the end of the line. Well, you did want to know what happened to the station. Right. Serves me right for asking. Is it possible to feel utterly blindsided and at the same time completely unsurprised? Destination. Stand by for deceleration. Please hold on. Reducing speed in three, two, one. At least there's one thing we know Juno was telling the truth about. What's that? That probably was a lot safer in the herb. around, see what we can find. Welcome, welcome to Cairo Station. Today's date is 24 April 2537. Right. Well, at least the big holographic tree still works. Indeed. It's possible the power grid is more stable in this area. There's an inscription here. Dedicated to all those we have lost. Devoted to all those we have yet to save. <sighs> Doesn't exactly paint a rosy picture, does it? Chiron Station. Dedicated. 10th of March, 2522. Lux hominum vita. Light of the life of mankind. Curious. What'd you find? A scrap of fuselage from the Kronos II. Are you sure? The markings are unmistakable. It's been preserved in a glass display. Warning. Environmental systems compromised. Atmosphere suboptimal. Still no life support. We still have time. We'll find a stable environment. Don't worry. Who's worried? Oh, 
tram routes are all closed. A miracle we managed to get the Hab A tram up and running. No harm in a second, Glenn. Transportation to Habitat B is currently unavailable. In case of an emergency, contact the station's directory. Not been touched in ages. This is a dead end. Let's keep looking. I'm going up. Jack? Up here. Tell me what that looks like to you. It's an old Atlas vessel. Pioneer class. What the hell? What's the ship from our time doing here? I brought it here. Do you know? Hello, Captain Ross. Jack. I'm glad to see you're still safe. Do you know? Are you saying this is your ship? That's a complicated question. The ship is my home, but it doesn't belong to me. What about life support? Does the ship still have atmosphere? The ship is currently suffering the same power disruptions as the station. However, if one were to cycle the ship's reactor... Then we'd have life support. In theory. How do we get on board? The docking platform is in the next sector, through the security checkpoint. I can show you the way. Hold on. You're not allowed to tell us anything about the ship itself, but helping us get on board, that's no problem. My primary directive is to keep you alive, and the best way to do that is to get you on board the ship. The door is sealed. I will need a moment to bypass the security constraints. So, you're really not part of the station? I am what's known as a transient program capable of gaining limited access to a variety of different networks. But I consider the ship to be my true home. There we are. Never thought I'd see an Atlas ship out the window again. Do you think it's safe following Juno to that ship? There's clearly a lot more she has yet to tell us. Yeah, but not by choice. Somebody's pulling her strings. And I'll bet whoever it is, they're on that ship. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Let's get a closer look. Can you see anything? What is that? That is a tip. Two, actually. There's another one in here as well, feeding on the door. I'm sorry, you say that like I'm supposed to know what it means? <coughs> oh. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. <coughs> what is it doing? Ticks instinctually seek out the nearest viable energy source, which, in this case, happens to be the captain. Hmm, lovely. I wouldn't worry yourself, Captain. I'm reasonably certain it can't break through the glass. All right, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around then. There's got to be some way to get rid of these things. There isn't any way to get this door open. So long as that tick is leeching its power, the door is inoperable. It'd be easier to see without this thing trying to eat my face. Do you see anything that might help? What about that disposal unit? 
That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? According to the station schematics, there should be another way to access the security checkpoint through the loading bay. It's just this way. Awfully dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. Shit. Captain Rhodes, I'm afraid this means you'll have to stay behind. Uh, what? Jack and I will continue through the loading bay. Once we clear the docking terminal. No, absolutely not. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. It's all right, Liv. I'll be careful. Jack, no. We've been over this. Listen, I know you're used to thinking of yourself as... invincible, but you're not. Not anymore. If you go in there with only one shell and something happens, you could... Actually, Captain, I think there may be a way for Jack to avoid that possibility. Yeah, he can avoid it by not going. As I was scanning the loading bay, I detected a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we should be able to use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So... You're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. <sighs> From what I can see, the biomass appears to be dormant. The risk is minimal. And how long do you suppose that will last? I promise, Captain. I won't let Jack do anything that might put him in jeopardy. <sighs> Alright. Alright. If we're gonna do this... Let's do it. Just watch yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting back at the security entrance. Understood. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, let's maybe mind our phrasing, yeah? Oh, I didn't mean... It's all right. I know what you meant. Good luck. Popcorn. I'll unlock the door for you. Stand by. Ready when you are. 